Hi. So last night out of the blue, I decided to clean up my shelf. My mom constantly nagged me to clean it up because she wants everything to be neat. But I kept saying later, later, later. Because I was too lazy to actually clean it up. But last night I just did. And I found some stuff that I should have thrown out months ago. Yet it was there. Like empty skincare bottles, boxes, paper with random scribbles, and many more. I thought to myself, what made me refuse to throw all of these back then? Well, apparently, attachment is an innate thing in our life. British psychologist John Bowley introduced the theory of attachment in 1958 where he proposed the idea that attachment started when children are attached with their caregivers and will experience anxiety or distress when separated. A baby cries when they're hungry and need their mother's breast milk and they remain calm and relaxed when their mother is around. Now, think about your favorite book or blanket or toy when you were a little kid. Those moments when you don't want to separate with them and you have to have those stuff around you all the time. I still have my favorite bolster from when I was a little girl. My mom tried to get rid of it many, many times, but I was eager to keep it, even though I already peed on it when I was a little girl and it's, it's ripped here and there. However, there are some stuff that need to be thrown out like that breakup letter, or that paper with your shopping list, or those old maps, empty boxes, or expired makeups. Yet, it's still there, safe and sound, hidden in our shelf. So, why is it so hard for us to let go of the things that we don't need anymore? Well, there are many reasons why we keep and hoard things that we don't need anymore. Like, maybe that thing is significant for you. Or maybe it was a gift. Or that stuff makes you so happy and you work very hard to collect it. You feel a sense of security when you have that stuff. Or that thing has been there for years in your shelf and getting rid of it just makes you feel uneasy and uncomfortable. Or maybe it's because of loneliness. Emotional attachment to objects is associated with both positive and negative emotions. Maybe it was pride, comfort, or pleasure. But it also might be anxiety and distress when you part ways with that object. Well, I still keep stuff that I don't actually need, like this New York City map <laughs> that I got during my trip back in 2017. Reality speaking, I don't need it and I won't benefit from it, right? Because it's just a map. Yet I still have it here because it reminds me of the amazing trip that I had and I wish to display this on my wall in my future house and I just can't let it go. My emotions are attached to this folded paper. As I declutter today, I realize a few things about hoarding and emotional attachment to objects. Sometimes it's okay to feel emotional and sentimental towards things that means the world to you. But we also need to be ready to let them go because hoarding things that we don't actually need is a waste of time and space. If you still have those stuff hidden in your shelf that you actually don't need anymore, well, you don't really have to clean it up today. But you're gonna have to clean it up one day. So, take your time, feel your emotions, and remember that it's valid to feel things like this. And when you're ready, you're gonna have to let them go. So, yeah, I'll see you very soon. Bye.